All right, just a little quick video on uh, hooking up a 24 volt starting system. Uh, the main battery is 12 volts, and what I'm using is this small uh, sealed battery that you can mount uh, in any direction, which is also 12 volts. Uh, this one only has about 70 cranking amps, but I need the volts versus mainly the amps so um, what's going to need to happen here is find your starter underneath your bike uh, this one is pretty much a uh, straight shot from the starter which this is a Suzuki Hayabusa and the starter wire I just followed it from the starter all the way to this starter solenoid and um, this is actually the cable from the starter itself. And so this wire was actually on this second terminal. I took it off uh, because this wire is gonna have to go to the positive side of your new, uh, or your second battery, okay? So where this wire was on the second post, I've already placed another wire that's going to the negative post of the second battery and then you're going to come from the positive post of the second battery back to this wire right here and that's going to give you 24 volts only at starting. Uh, there's other ways of wiring this up to where you get 24 volts all the time. I did not need that. I only need it while starting this motorcycle uh, due to high compression issues uh, so that's pretty much it I'm going to show you the voltage that you get here from setting it up this way and show you what you get when the bike is uh, when you're not on the starter button all right as you can see I have my voltmeter attached uh, with the positive end to the positive side of the battery uh, the negative end of the second battery, well, as I stated before, is connected to the starter solenoid. In this test, I'm not going to need the wire going to the starter hooked up because I'm, right now I'm just testing the voltage, not whether it starts the bike or not. Uh, this right here is just what I'm using for a ground. It's just a uh, place where a screw was for the uh, tail section. Maybe kind of hard to do this. with one hand so let me try to set it up some kind of way to where it's, it's, it will show you the votes give me just a second all right let's see if you can see the video right there let's get this out a little bit more pulling in a clutch and hitting the starter button I'm only going to see 24 volts when I hit the starter button. Lost my ground. All right. And that's it. That's the only time you should see 24 volts is when you hit the starter button. That's the only time I need 24 volts is to start the bike. And that is how you install a 24 volt starting system again wire coming from the starter which is originally on this starter cylinder or starter switch whatever you want to call it uh, take that wire off one of them is going to be hot coming from the battery the other one's just going to be the one coming from the starter you want to remove the one coming from the starter uh, replace it with another battery cable Run that to the positive side of your new 24 volt or your new 12 volt battery. Um, you can put this battery anywhere on your bike that you can find. Uh, I end up having to cut the subframe uh, out just a little bit to place this battery right here so it'll be buttoned up and won't be able to see it and out of the way. I'm also going to put a charging cable quick connect on it because being that this bike is not directly connected to the charging system it's not going to charge on its own so you have to uh, have a way to charge it and this is just the easiest way just to put a pigtail on it 
and maybe charge it up, you know, uh, before every ride. You know, they give you enough starting, should be for the rest of the day. Um, also, uh, keep in mind that this is a sealed battery. I wouldn't try this with a lead acid battery that's not sealed uh, just because the uh, acid or whatever may spill out all over your bike, ruin your paint job and everything else that it leaks on. So I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, they also sell the, I think Zero Gravity makes some, where the ballistic gel batteries or lithium ion cell batteries that you can get, those will work also. The only deal with those, if you're going to run one, you're going to need to run two. I don't, I don't think they're compatible with the uh, lead acid or the sealed batteries. Um, and I think it's also dangerous to mix them together like that. Um, so, there you have it. Also, this power wire, or positive wire, is going to come from here. I haven't ran it yet. I will post a... a in the video of what it's going to look like when it's all done when i'm all connected from this positive post back to the wire here which is going straight to the starter all right here's everything all buttoned up um, what we have is right here this is the wire coming from the starter itself this wire is going all the way over Coming down and coming to the positive side of the battery of your second battery then we have the original spot under this cap where the starter wire was plugged into uh, we have another wire that comes from this solenoid on over to the negative side of your second battery and this will give you a 24 volt starting system that is only 24 volts when you hit the starter button and only 24 volts goes to the starter so all of your 12 volt components will not be affected by this setup so hopefully this helps somebody I didn't see anything like this on YouTube so that's why I made the video uh, a lot of people have been wondering how to do this so now I'm putting it out there so everybody can learn how to do it so hope you enjoyed hopefully it was easy to understand if it helped you hit the like and subscribe button more videos to come thanks for watching